Are you sick of reading about yet another new global problem? Well, we have got the solution for you. Here's a picture of me on a red tractor. It's made from paper. Well, the picture. And here's that exact same picture digital. It's made from data. Digital stuff is made from a lot of numbers. Like this photo is actually made from 16,312,791 of them. Yeah, we just call that 3 megabyte. Every digital thing out there is made from data. Videos of your friends, stuff you browse, stories you read. Even this video is made from data. And we easily watch and share this on the internet. And that might seem to just fly wirelessly into the world, but it's not. If we zoom out, it looks like this. There is a massive network of cables laying on the bottom of the ocean that connects us all together. Combined with our cables on land, we share and move data all around the world. Every video you watch, message you send or picture you share is flowing through this impressive global network. But all this data has a dark side. We post a lot of things online, like, um, let's say, pictures of the Eiffel Tower. There are a lot of them out there, all made from these numbers. Even if they are exactly the same, it uses twice the amount to store it. So let's say you post a picture that takes data. Share that exact same picture on another platform, boom, double data. Again, boom, triple. We easily create more. So why is all this data a problem? It's all saved digital online, right? Well, yeah, that might seem like it's floating around somewhere in the cloud, but that's actually this. Thousands of servers in a cooled room without daylight. These data centers are all over the world storing our online data, running day and night, consuming energy. It's basically a big version of the storage we have at home. Floppy, CD, USB, SD card or hard disk. They're all used to store your files. But all these things are made from materials like metal and plastic. And they will soon be replaced for a newer model. It simply takes energy and material to store our data. And the more we use, the more we need. We read stories, watch pictures, scroll our feed, read a tweet, send an app, get a snap. All this information flows through our brain. That little guy up there needs to digest all this information on high speed. An intense job. It's constantly busy progressing these things that flash by our eyes. Our focus span is shrinking down. We're getting used to short, quick information pulses. Stop for an hour and you realize how much you want to scroll. Stop for a few days and get anxious. It's hard to keep your eyes off it. We digest more data every day. Spend more time in the digital world. Like... Now. And it brings us amazing things, connects us all together and provides knowledge for everyone. But we get tricked into using more. Some of the biggest companies in the world are making money on your data. So they want you to spend as much time on their platform as possible. They want you watching that screen. All of them share, like and read. They developed special algorithms just so you keep scrolling your feed. All to increase their stats and have you watching more ads. Simply because companies make profit by you consuming data. And there is a growing massive industry behind this business. Similar situation occurred when Fantastic Plastic entered our world. A huge industry got behind it producing and selling us more and more plastic objects. A few years later we see the consequences and now we need to clean it all up. Or when fast food came in our lives, business grew around consuming more food. So we started eating more, way more than we can handle. The industry benefits, but all these things have turned into massive problems of today's world, affecting the entire planet. And the same thing is happening with data right now. A powerful industry behind it is currently being scaled up and growing intensely. And it's one of their top priorities to keep you consuming more and more. They want you being sucked into that little glowing screen. Now, this time there's an upside. We can make sure it doesn't become another global issue. See, big problems like this are super complex and seem impossible to solve. However, there's one crucial thing different this time. 
We are still a few years away from it being a global mess. It's currently rapidly being set up. So this time we can actually be ahead of the problem. So here's the plan. Make people aware of the consequences. This is the first most powerful step to prevent a global problem. We already know our internet and digital world is amazing. But be aware, there's also a huge industry trying to trick you into consuming more data. Because there's a big difference between consuming what you can and consuming what you need. Alright, you just completed the first step. That's it. The seed is now planted in your head and you're officially aware data has a dark side. And now let's play their game. Make sure to spread this video around as much as you can. Inform others so we can all avoid this global problem together. Share this on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, WhatsApp, Tumblr, QZone, Pinterest, LinkedIn, WeChat, Snapchat, Why the